so hi guys in this video we will be talking about data types so basically in the last video what we discussed like variables are some memory block which can hold some data so it can have types as well so we will be discussing about data types one by one the most basic data type that come into our mind is integer like integer is basically negative number zero and positive numbers and in C++ the value of integer can vary from int minimum basically it is written as int min to int max and approximately the value of int min vary from like int min value is minus 2 into 10 to the power of 8 approximately and the value of int max is 2 into 10 to the power 8 so the value of integer can vary from in this range what if we need a number greater than this so in that case long come into picture so long can basically hold data up to 10 to the power 12 range right and uh, its value also varies from long underscore mean to long underscore max i hope this is getting clear and the same problem arises what if we need a greater number then this then long long it can hold value up to 10 to the power 15 and if you still need a greater number then we can use long long int it supports value up to 10 to the power 18 and the maximum range integer that can be holded in C++ is the maximum range which long long int can hold we can't assign a greater num number greater in C++ okay so what if our requirement is not satisfied and we still need a better number in that case we basically store our number in the string because string can be of any length right so we can st store that number in the string if the number is greater than 10 power 18 okay so I hope this is clear so basically this is the range of data which can be holded in different variables if the data is in the range of 10 power 8 it can be stored in int the data is greater than it it can be stored in long long if the data is still greater than in this can be stored in long long and finally this is all we can store but one thing that come into our mind like generally the data may not be a whole number as always it can also contain decimal point like 2.02 3.03 so in that case what we generally do like we store the variable in a float so the data type comes here is float so now this f can store decimal values another variable another data type that can store decimal values is double and its range is greater than float okay so i hope this is getting clear but one problem again comes like what if we don't have the data as the number like one two they are all numbers but what if we need some data like a b or some character like dollar percentage space so in that case we need another data type which is known as char and char stands for character okay also there can be some data like hello which is the mixture of characters like more than one character is combined here as you can see so this type of data are stored in generally string so I hope this is clear so this was like basic data types which is supported in C++ and apart from this one data is more like this is bool so bool stands for boolean basically it is used to store true or false okay so I think this is clear and 
if you talk about which variable need what memory so integer basically require 4 bytes float also require 4 bytes of memory okay char requires 1 byte of memory and string memory can be calculated as length of string into size of character which is basically equal to 1 so in this case in case of hello the length of string is 5 and size of character is 1 byte so this string will be requiring 5 byte of memory in order to store this so I hope this is clear and let's see the code implementation of all this in this video so basically I what I told like you can have a variable like int a equal to 5 then I can check the size of a as well for that you can use the size of function and I can print this size so basically if you see the size will come out to be 4 why 4 as I told integer occupies 4 bytes of memory then we have another data type which is float which is equal to 1.2 here float is generally used to store decimal points and if you again see the size of float so it will again come out to be 4 because float occupies 4 bytes of data so you can see 4 is getting printed here and the data type is char as discussed so let's say this is a and remember you have to write char in inverted commas okay so if you print size of ch it will come out to be 1 so it, yeah it is getting printed as 1 another data type we have is hello like is a string which is containing hello here so if we print size of s or like uh, yeah so basically it should print so yeah I think some garbage value is coming out to here so I think I hope this is clear to you all and uh, if you want to calculate the size of a string s you can calculate because I think it is printing the memory required by string s so I think some garbage value is coming out here but definitely you can calculate as discussed here okay so I hope this video is clear to you all thanks for watching